what, what most people don't appreciate is uh, the world has become one global net. And when you are one global net, uh, when I say net, I think of it as an information infrastructure, there are no boundaries. And so it's quite easy for someone to sit in a foreign country in Pakistan or Argentina or, or Denmark or wherever and reach through fiber optic cables and touch uh, information in the United States. Uh, they could also reach it to the point of uh, exploiting information, taking something they, they shouldn't be authorized access to or whatever. Or uh, the next step would be to actually uh, destroy data. And we are a data-dependent, network-dependent society for moving money, for running uh, electric power, for transportation, for reservations, for buying gasoline at the, at the uh, filling station. All those things are dependent upon a, an effectively operating uh, network infrastructure. And that network is, has a, a level of vulnerability um, that I, my personal view needs to be mitigated, and we tend to think of it in pieces as opposed, as opposed to holistically. So that's, that's the issue we're struggling with. We're the most vulnerable nation on Earth to a cyber attack, a cyber attack that deliberately, deliberately targeting something like the financial infrastructure or electric power or something. So if it's money or intellectual capital or software or whatever it is, someone who wanted to capture value, criminal, someone who wanted to attack value, a nation state, or someone who wanted to destroy, a terrorist, that's the place that they would attack in, in today's uh, situation.